So I had an idea. What is the cheapest CNC router you can buy on Amazon? I have no idea where this is gonna go. I haven't opened the box yet. The box just arrived. All 11 pounds of made in China. I think they saved some money on packing. It's okay though, because this is part of the idea. I wanted to see what would show up when you bought the cheapest complete CNC router you could find on Amazon. This is called the DIY Mini 1610 Pro milling machine. Three axis, gribble, GRBL control, CNC router kit, engraved PVC, PCB, plastic, wood, router engraver. New item. Anyways, let's get this box open and see what they sent us. All right, so we're gonna open these and set everything out. Just kind of get everything out of the box, kind of organize the parts the best we can, get everything out of its wrapper and, and just see what we have. So here is all the bolts and nuts. Assembling is gonna be the worst part of this. All right, here is uh, the control board. Oh, nice, nice. It looks like it's used. Can you see that? You see all the scratches on it? It looks like my cat got a hold of it. Look at this. Oh, this is the Z gantry. We got some, that is definitely 3D printed. Is it, or is it injected mold? I can see lines on it, like really thin lines. I mean, if it is, I think it is 3D printed. If you can see right in there. I mean, it's a very, very good print. Don't get me wrong. Nonetheless, it's plastic. <laughs> look at those tiny little bits. That's awesome. Like it's, look at there, that's how long it is. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad they got some bits because honestly, I didn't think about that, like what bits it took. And then power supply, set those to the side, power cords, got a USB drive, got our cables, we got oh, 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 oh. some extruded, some extrusion here. That is one, is that one piece? Yeah, that's one piece. It has plastic on it. That's one piece of some extrusion. Not sure exactly where that goes yet. Oh, and zip ties. This is what was rattling. So after that, getting that top layer done, this is what was rattling around. So look at these. All right, I wonder what kind of material this is. Let me know if you know down in the comments. I mean, it's some kind of plastic, but it look at, it's cut really weird. I bet everybody's wondering, what's the spindle like? Cause this came, this is a complete set. Here is the spindle. I'm not sure what we're gonna be cutting with this, but this looks like one of those RC engine motors. Let's get these instructions out and, and then I'll get the rest of these things out. This, this is really what I'm scared about. How good are the instructions? We got pictures. Is it all pictures? It's all pictures. So no writing. All right. Good thing I practiced with all that Ikea furniture. So I'm not gonna bore you guys with, I have no idea how long this is gonna take me. Probably a long time. So let's go ahead and speed up time for you guys. Picture one, done. I guess I should have expected there'd be tiny pieces. Be a like tiny CNC. You know what, it's, it, but it's, it's cute, isn't it? Like, if you're looking for a cute CNC, I would say, now, don't hold me to it, because I'm not done yet, but this is definitely cute in my book. Stick around, and when we get this thing all together, we're gonna test it. And I'm really excited to test these like mini bits. I'm just curious what happens. I have zero expectation.
right, so after all that struggle, I just realized that I assembled it wrong. So these plastic pieces right here need to be on the inside. I need to go one groove over. So there it is, completely assembled. Assembled. All the physical parts are there, the wiring's there, and now all I have to do is hook this thing up to power and the computer and see if we can get it to move. So you buy a $120 CNC router and this is what you get. Uh, honestly, it's, it's fairly heavy, it's fairly rigid, but it definitely wasn't easy. This took me about two hours to put together and the thing measures like 10 inches by 10 inches by 10 inches. I highly recommend that whoever manufactures this, because there is no name on it, write some descriptions. That'd be really, it would have saved me so many mistakes with just a little description. Like, hey, look at this picture before you look at this picture. Without any knowledge of CNC, if this was your first CNC, you'd really, really struggle putting this together. So let's get this thing up and going and see what it's capable of. I had a feeling that the only thing more difficult than assembling it was gonna be the software side of it. What I'm trying to get right now is the control software which is GRBL. Okay, note to self, if anybody out there is gonna buy this thing, make sure you put the USB drive in the computer first. There's a lot of information on this USB drive. Hey, I found the program buried in here. Hey, I think we're connected. All right, let's turn this power. I'm gonna turn the power on. Whoa. <laughs> so you gotta be really careful uh, because there's no limit switches on it, but I got it to move. All right, so the spindle, ready? This is the slowest speed. Cool, okay, okay. That's the fastest speed. It works, everything works. So let's get this thing going, get a file in here and see what it can cut. All right, so it does say right here, the three XS NC files need users to design by themselves using CAM software. So you can use Carbide Create, you can use any SVG files. You just need to generate the G code and this software right here, you load your G code into and that's how you send it to the machine. So you still have to use your own design software. Basically it's what it's saying. All right, we're gonna start off with some pine. It's got a small piece of pine here, double-sided tape. The moment we've been waiting for, I've zeroed. Um, I've got some sample uh, a sample file that they had on the USB drive it says iPhone. We're gonna see what happens, and I'm gonna hit send here, and it's gonna do its thing. I've already uh, buried it into the wood a couple times by hitting the wrong button. Um, so let's see what happens. I have no idea. All right, here we go. All right, so far so good. It's just doing its thing. I mean, it's engraving. All right, all right, that's cool. A minute 32, all right, it went back and turned itself off. One thing is why, like if a $120 machine plus the so they get the software and everything can turn on and turn off the spindle on its own, why can't desktop CNC like bigger, like the Shapeoko or Onefinity or why can't they turn themselves off and on automatically? I did not turn the spindle on and I did not turn it off. Um, I wonder what the holdup is there. But let's look at these results. All right, it's really, really light. You can barely see it. So we're talking really, really shallow engraving. So I was pleasantly surprised with the smoothness of the operation. Now capability, obviously we just cut a 16th of an inch in pine. Doesn't take a whole lot, but 
it engraves something relatively flawlessly. Uh, so that's cool. So let's get this next test set up and see what happens. <sighs> what should we put on these coasters? Well, what if, since it's all over the internet, this should just be fun. Um, how about some Pirates of the Caribbean? Maybe a little Johnny Depp. Um, let's see if we can find some, some Pirates of the Caribbean graphics. All right, so I got my files prepared. So got that going for me. And then uh, I'm getting ready to, to run this. So now while I'm doing this, let me be clear that I'm not picking anybody's side. It's just blowing up the internet for Lord knows what reason. But because it's a trend and I need something to put on these coasters, that's why I'm, I'm putting Johnny Depp's face on these coasters. What am I going to do with these coasters after I'm done? I really have no use for them other than to test if this machine can carve Johnny Depp's face in walnut. That's literally the only reason. All right, this is after the second run. Uh, just trying to clear it out a little bit. I've got this fine groove now. We're gonna take some of this colored super glue. It's basically like, it's called CA glue. Um, and we're gonna fill in all these cracks. And this is gonna be messy. We just wanna get some of those cracks. Then we're gonna take some of this uh, accelerator. and get this to dry almost instantly. All right, well, this is one of the weirdest projects I've ever made, but nonetheless, I needed something to carve using the cheapest CNC on Amazon. What a day. I would say I had two hours into assembly, like I said before, uh, these, to carve these coasters took about eight minutes a piece. Um, you're, you're not gonna be uh, setting any world records other than maybe this is the world's smallest CNC. I don't know, uh, but as far as speed goes, but it's effective. You could engrave things. You can't cut things, you could engrave them. So, but for 120 some dollars, honestly, I'm kind of impressed. Like, again, I bought this CNC. This is not sponsored in any way. I'm kind of impressed that they can pack all of that into a hundred dollar, just over a hundred dollar price tag. Um, so capability is extremely limited. Instructions are terrible, uh, worse than Ikea furniture, but nonetheless, I created something pretty quickly. And uh, what I would say is if you're watching this and you normally watch my channel, and you're hesitant to get into CNC because of uh, the sh machines I normally talk about, which um, run $2,500 to $3,000 um, and up, uh, this could be a tiny, tiny stepping stone to get your feet wet if you know nothing at all about CNC. Uh, if you don't know anything about a CNC router, throwing $130 at this and just learning what X, Y, and Z axes are, learning the software, uh, what Gribble is, what, uh, there's so many things that you can learn on this. So I'm so glad I did this because hopefully some of you uh, can see that maybe this is where you start. Now, longevity with this machine, I don't know. I think a pair of tennis shoes that cost $100 will last longer than this, <laughs> but, uh, I, I don't know for sure. I ran it for about four or five hours today and it makes some funky sounds. But other than that, uh, I, I don't know how long it's gonna last. But throwing $120 at something is really not a big deal uh, for what you can make and the learning curve. Maybe this is how you get into the world of CNC. Really easy access point. So with all that being said, I just wanna say I'm probably the first one in the world to carve Johnny Depp's face on a walnut coaster using probably the world's tiniest CNC.